Hi, this is Eric from 814 Casting. Uh, today, I wanted to show you a possible solution to um, if you receive a one of these uh, furnaces and you get the HHH code. I'll show you that here. Just turn the power on. Everything looks to be going okay. And then you get this H, uh, 4H code. And what that 4H code is, is it is your thermal couple. So I'm going to show you uh, something to check that will is a very easy fix most of the time. So uh, if you receive your your uh, furnace and get those four H's, I'll show you what to check first. So first you want to shut it back off and very important unplug it. Um, you always want to unplug anything electrical that you're going to be working on. And you're going to want to tip this over and then you've got four screws holding the, the bottom plate on. So we're going to take those off. that off you're going to want to look at the thermal couple and where that is behind all these wires back here this is your thermal couple okay and i think what's happening i over exaggerated this just so that i could get the hhh uh, code again but with this unit, whenever I received it, it was down. It was down in there. It looked looked like it was uh, okay, and I believe that it was probably okay coming from the factory. Uh, you'll see how the ends of this. There's a kind of a ball of solder. I think what's happening uh, is when they screw the the the, the screw on there, um, it's it's hitting this ball and through shipment I think it actually ends up sliding down so you want to check both of these um, both of these screws back here if you're getting that code to make sure that they're tight and the, the, the wire should not move at all so what we're going to do is we're going to take that we're going to put this wire back on. Now on these screws, you don't want to go overboard with tightening them. I mean, you want to get them tight so that the wire's snug, but they are smaller screws, um, so you don't want to strip them out, and you also don't want to end up snapping any of the the connectors off of this. So now we got that secured back up there. Okay. Um, one other thing that I do want to point out while I have this open is if for some reason you started heating it up and you got any kind of temperature going and then you get the 4H uh, code, you want to let this cool down because not only is this red chamber up here going to be hot, but these two wires right here which are your heating coil, there's a very good possibility that those will also be hot. So if you're getting, if, you, if you're in the middle of uh, going up in temperature on this and you get the, the four H's, let, the, let your furnace cool down. Very important uh, to not work on it while it's still hot. Okay, so that's, that's really all there is to fix. We're gonna throw that, that back on now bottom plate and see if she'll fire up it's uh, a very easy uh, fix if that is in fact what the problem is and you 
and get your uh, your furnace. Uh, also, with these uh, these screws right here, probably best to, to use a screwdriver, but you don't want to torque them down because you'll strip that uh, that out also if you go too too hard on it. So now I'm going to flip it back over. I'll get it plugged back in. Turn it on. And there you go. It's uh, the 4H code is gone and it will start raising in temperature here shortly. Um, yeah, so if, if you're getting one of these units in, I, I don't think it's really a manufacturing error. I think it has more to do with uh, the shipping and how, how far these things have to travel to get to us at our homes. Um, and it's just the, the, the wires came loose and it's an easy way to check. So if you get this furnace and you've been waiting for it, you're excited to use it and then you turn it on and you got that four H's, don't panic. It's, uh, it's at most six screws that you got to deal with and get them wires secured back up and you'll be melting in no time. All right, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.